gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, the day has come. XFL Week One picks, just like I did with the CFL, NFL, and NCAA. Straight up picks against the spread, over under. So, with these four games starting February 8th and February 9th this week. I don't have over under. Wasn't able to find that information online. Maybe I wasn't going to the right, right site, but so be it. So for this week, we're doing. I'm doing an over under of 40 for all four games. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, so I'm taking under on all of them. So that clarifies that. So maybe open four, but hey, that's fine. You know what? We'll learn. Okay. So game one, game one of the XFL. Seattle Dragons versus the D.C. Defenders. Seattle has Jim Zorn as their head coach with NFL experience. The O.C. is Mike Riley. He's coached in the NFL, college, and, and uh, CFL. Offensive or defensive coordinator, Clayton Lopez, who's also been a coach in NCAA and NFL. Over on the D.C. side, the head coach is Pep Hamilton. He's never been a head coach. He's only been a coach. Rider coach, co coordinator, and position coach. The offensive coordinator, Tanner Enstrand. He's been a college coach. And the DC is going to be Louis Kioff. Kioff. He's been just a coach in the NFL. The DC defenders are favored by six and a half. I'm going with the more senior head coach, more experience, Zim Zorn and Seattle Dragons. I got them winning. I got them covering the six and a half. And I did the over under 40. I am taking the under. I think as a new league, as a new players, defense will be able to get on board quicker than the offense. I think as time goes on, we'll see a lot of points put up. But I think this first week or week, it's going to be like a preseason for them. I don't see there being a lot of points put up. Um, but I could be wrong. But time you get timing between the receivers. I mean, you've seen what Pat Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes is second and. Travis Kelsey and Ty, you know, Tyreek Hill and Sammy Watkins when he was able to just drop a pass right in their hands on, on mid-run. I think we're going to have that right now, at least in week one. Second game on Saturday, which is the Los Angeles Wildcats, the Houston Roughnecks. Los Angeles has Winston Moss as their head coach. No head coaching experience. Their OC is going to be Norm Chow. He does uh, have uh, head coaching experience in the uh, college level. Pepper Johnson is the D.C. He is a former NFL coach. The Rednecks, Houston uh, Roughnecks, excuse me, Houston Roughnecks, June Jones is their coach. You know, he's got oodles of experience in NFL college and CFL as head coach. Um, he's got uh, wins in all of those. He's got 112 collegiate wins. Their O.C. is Chris Miller, is their offensive coach, former NFL player. Their D.C. is going to be Ted Cotrell. He's been a coach in the college and in the NFL side. Um, Houston Roughnecks are favored by five. I got them winning, covering the five, and picking under on the 40. Again, that 40 is what I just came up with for week one. I wasn't able to locate spreads at the filming of this video. Next up, we have the Tampa Bay Vipers versus the New York Guardians. The Vipers head coach is Mark Tressman. He's coached winning record in the CFL. He's coached in the NFL. Their OC is going to be Jamie Elizondo. Um, he's been a coach in the CFL. Their DC... The one and only, Jerry Glanville. Five genera five decades of coaching. Former Atlanta Falcons coach. He coaches in the college level as well. For the Guardians, Kevin Gilbright, former NFL head coach. Um, their OC is going to be G.A. Magnus, former uh, D3 college coach. Um, D the D.C. is going to be Jim Harriman, former coach in, in college and NFL. The Vipers are favored by five. I got them winning, covering, and taking under on the 40 again. We just already talked about that. Too bad the St. Louis could have been the Vipers because it's the home of Randy Orton. He's known as the Viper. I mean, heck, Seattle's the Dragons. The Dra Dan American Dragon dealing with Reigns from uh, Washington. Come on now. WWE, you got to think of these things. Yes, WWE owns the XFL if you didn't know. All right, final game, we have the St. Louis Battlehawks. Kaka! That's the new call for the Battle Hawks. They take, take on the Dallas Renegades. Uh, the Battle Hawks coach is Jonathan Hayes. He's been a coach in the NFL and NCAA. Their OC is Chuck Long, 
former college uh, head coach. Um, Jay Hayes is a D, uh, the DC, former coach in college in the NFL. Over for the Dallas Renegades, the legendary Bob Stoops is going to be the head coach. Uh, former Oklahoma Sooner head coach, 190 wins on the collegiate level. Um, Hal Mooney is going to be the OC. He's got 142 wins on the college level as a head coach. And their DC is going to be Chris Woods. He's only been a college coach. The Renegades are favored by six and a half. Now, since I am predicting the Battlehawks to be in the playoffs, even though they're one of the supposedly one of the worst teams, um, I'm giving the six and a half to the Battlehawks. I got them winning, covering, and taking under on the forty. So I took under on the forty over under on all of them. I had everybody covering the spread. DC the Dragon six and by six and a half. Houston five. Tampa Bay five in battle and the Battlehawks again them the six and a half. So we'll see what happens. Um, week two ought to be real interesting. We'll see what the plays happen. We'll see how the stats run out. All that coming to you in week two. But as of week one, XFL, as always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.